Businesses in Alaska react to the Anchorage Assembly's support of early morning drink service. John Thompson has the story. Well, Rebecca, the Anchorage Assembly passed a measure last night allowing restaurants with proper license the ability to start serving at 8 a.m., bringing mixed reaction from local businesses and advocates. I think that as far as business goes, that it's probably a net positive. Alessandro Rossi, GM at the Broken Blender, welcomes the Assembly's new measure approving brunch hour for alcohol sales. In the summertime, it's a little bit more advantageous for businesses to be open that early because the buses and all those tours, like, you know, they're driving in from Seward at like 6 a.m. Restaurants weren't able to serve until 10 a.m. That time has been bumped up to 8 a.m. You know, the spots where we have in Anchorage, like the, I don't know if we call them problem drinkers, but they're not at restaurants. Tiffany Hall disagrees. The president and CEO of Recover Alaska says the two-hour shift will make a big impact. Like, the people who need it to be open early probably need help and support. The people for whom it is more convenient, that is a privilege. That is convenience. It's not necessary. Hall says that the economic impact will be felt in a very negative way. Those costs come in terms of missed work, uh, life lost from alcohol, from greater, from EMS calls, ER visits, hospitalizations. She also points to undocumented costs like child abuse and sexual assault. The measure passed by a 10-1 vote and also allows package stores to be open earlier on Sundays. I think that with it being so new, I'm very, I'm very willing to feel it out. So now it's wait and see if the Anchorage community can handle earlier hours for alcohol consumption. Arasi says that the Broken Blender will implement the new serving hours come NFL season. Hall says she hopes to work close with the assembly in establishing safeguards uh, to the expanded access to alcohol. Rebecca.